I'm finally going to do it. I cannot believe this, but I haven't even opened this kit to see what it's like. This is the tent set. So it's got the instructions. It's got everything you need in here to do it. So we'll probably do both. This is what the kit looks like to do the lash lift. So it's got your instruction manual and then all of this inside of it. I'm gonna open everything up. I'm gonna lay it all out and we're finally going to do the lash lift. I'm so excited. I have my little instruction booklet here. So step one, it tells you the prep and it's telling you to remove all your makeup. I just got out of the shower so I don't have to worry about that. And step two is apply the silicone pad and then it tells you how to choose it. You can pause it right here to see the differences between the sizes. If you start with small, you're going to get a really intense curl because the pad is super small. So that just shows you that it's going to be a very intense curl. And then Glamour is a medium curl, which is the M. And I've seen a lot of people use the M, but I think I want to go for right in the middle, which is M1 standard, slighter curl than M. I just want to try something a little different, so let's go with M1. The kit itself comes with three of each thing. So there's three of the perm lotions, three of the fix lotions, and three of the nourish lotions. So you can actually do this three different times. You're just going to have to use a different size pad each time. How to apply it. Remove the protective film from the back of the silicone pad. Stick the pad to your upper eyelid just above the lash line and press it down firmly for about 30 seconds to ensure it sticks perfectly. So I'm going to take my little handheld mirror and do one at a time. Let's see if this fits my eye shape. All right, so just listen. I went ahead and I'm going to just restart because I noticed that the middle of my lashes was not sticking to the pad anymore as I was moving on through the steps. And I just felt like it wasn't going to work. So I just kind of stopped. Still have everything laid out. I'm going to go ahead and do this eye, give this eye a break, and then I'll do this eye again. So I'm just going to make sure to trim it. And I want to let you know for now, I think this is the most important step is making sure this pad fits you properly and that you have it well applied. Okay, so the silicone pad, I'm going to go ahead and trim a little bit because I know it's going to be too long from the last time. But again, this is so important, this part. You want to get it as close to the lashes as possible because it gets hard, like I said, for them to want to stick as you start adding all these solutions to it. And I'm just going to hold down the corners this time for a minute. Apply the lash glue to the top of the lash pads. Strings. I'm going to make sure, try not to get the glue too far down in the middle because you just want the tips, I guess, to stick. All right, now let's press these lashes down. I feel like this is a really important step to getting the lashes to actually stick before you move on. And they say not to use too much glue, so I'm going to make sure I get off some of the residue, but it's important. So I'm just going to go back and make sure some of the areas are really glued down because I had an issue with this again the first time. I would suggest using like a small amount at first and then getting a little bit more as you go along and then focusing it only on the middle so just be careful because if you get too much on the applicator that's when you might run into issues you want to keep away from the tips the tips are held in by glue it says to allow 12 to 15 minutes depending on lash thickness so i'm going to go for somewhere in the middle of that Let's go ahead and take this cotton swab and it just says to gently remove the perming solution. 
Now we're going to move on to the fixing lotion. Apply fixing lotion to the middle section of your lashes, cover them with cling film, and leave it on for an additional 10 to 12 minutes. I'm going to take it, do the same thing, and try to avoid the tips of my lashes. I'm going to take a piece of cling wrap and literally stick it to my eyeball, I guess. And pray for the best. Just going to kind of hold it there. For 10 or 12 minutes. Good Lord. Okay, be right back. Hey, we are about to remove the fix lotion. And I just wanted to let you know in the instructions, the next step is to use the tint. Tinting your lashes is optional. Apply the mixed color to the lashes from the base to the tips and leave it on for three minutes. Comes with like this little mixing bowl. So let's do a pea sized amount of that. Okay, pea sized amount of this. And it's called oxidant gel. So you've got your tint and then you've got your oxygen gel. Mix it up. I'm going to remove my cling wrap and it says to take a cotton swab and remove the fixing gel. So let's do that first. Then we're going to tint. I've got my little applicator here and I'm just going to put it all over my lashes. Okay, now what? And I feel like I'm feeling a burning sensation with this, so just FYI. I didn't feel any irritation with anything until I just put this on, so just keep that in mind. I'm going to leave it on three minutes. Let's do this. Use a damp cotton pad with a small amount of water or cleanser to gently detach the lashes from the pad. A little cotton round. Let's see if this works. To detach. You just want to make sure you're getting all of the glue so that way when you remove the silicone pad, you're not getting any of your lashes. For the final reveal. Okay. We are removed. Finally, apply the nursing lotion with a cotton swab to revitalize your lashes, then comb your lashes from the base to the tips. I guess all over. So yeah, let me go ahead and do the other eye off camera. I'll come back and give you my final thoughts. My lashes look incredibly lifted. So I will try to do some close ups for you of my eyes closed. open it's weird for me to be doing this without any makeup on but overall I feel like the most important step is the lash pad make sure that you are getting the lash pad as close to your lash line as possible and make sure it's secure. My little trick that I used on this eye that I think worked better was making sure I had a bunch of glue at the very tip of my lashes to hold them up and then trying to stay away from that area completely with the perm solution and with the fixing solution. I am experiencing a little bit of irritation, uh, not bad at all. I guess I was just very intimidated by the whole process. It seemed like a lot of steps and it really isn't. It's not that big of a deal. So if you're like me and you were kind of like on the fence about trying it, anyone can do it. Okay. Anybody can do it. It's very easy. The instructions were clear. I'm very happy with it and I'm glad I finally pulled it out and tried it. Um, you need to give yourself a couple hours of free time because there's a lot of time in between those 12 to 15 minute intervals. It adds up. So give yourself a couple hours, try it out, see what you think, and let me know in the comments what you think of it and I will see you soon. Bye.